Hey guys, how's it going? Bambi here, and welcome back to Ding and Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. We're going to continue where we left off. Um, I know these episodes are getting a little bit short, but they're very, like, intense to record. It takes a long time. So I think we're going to the dining hall, um, as we usually do first thing in the morning. Let me run over here. Also, uh, the bathhouse opened up, as they said, so eventually we'll check that out. Alright. Hey, Makoto. Morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka is not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he is taking... He is trying to get the King of Tardinus up and out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough, just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Hafumi, would you make me some tea? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well, Why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out quickly, please. Oh. Um. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order. Hafumi stalked his way Sultkus, skul, uh, skulked his way into the kitchen. And a few moments later Thank you for waiting. Hafumi reappeared with a tray in his hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> Finally. You, you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. No I empathetically decline. You are not my type at all. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's all about the law of casualty, basic instinct, act and react. Well then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could to the, at the wall. What? what the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? I hate this kind of tea. Um, um I don't understand. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and order some tea. They would ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process of, from the onset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup, mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see if it offers this proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went through all the trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even further? Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that pr offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes way more time to prepare, surely, but... Why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Um, well, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. Oh, well, she just changed. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, you swine. <laughs> she drastically changed. <laughs> Poor Hafumi. <laughs> I do love Kohijun. You were like a totally different person just now. Yeah, shit, you went really psycho there. <laughs> I knew there was more to her than I first than when I first met her, and I hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. Well, she is the ultimate gambler. The dining halls flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news everyone. This, there is a mystery afoot. Huh? huh? What happened? It would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over and he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I, think maybe... I like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What do you meant by that? 
he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone ex understood exactly what that might meant. It might be a good idea if we split up and go look for him. Uh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. Stop problem? trying to one-up everyone. Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna go on hammering the button until I get a response. Well, Very well, the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, before too late. It's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe you went to check out the second floor of the school again? I guess that's a hint that he's somewhere on the second floor. So let's go to the second floor. I believe we have to go through here to get to. I don't think Byakuya is dead though. What do you guys think? I really like Byakuya as a character, so I'm highly doubting that he's dead. Kyoko, what are you doing up here? Hey. So you thought to come here too? Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What Byakuya was interested in again? Oh, the library! That makes sense. Because he was interested in the archive. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Piakia? Okay, yeah, he's not dead. Of all the things I imagined, this most definitely wasn't one of them. Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like? <laughs> that answer, though. I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Byakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yeah, yeah, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, the heck you doing here, man? We were we were very concerned. Hmm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it just might prove useful at some point. Well, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Well. Oh, what are you gonna use? What learn? Uh, so what you're gonna use? Uh, pff, he's gonna betray us. Don't be stupid. Yeah. This is just something to keep in mind. Y what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course, I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you m have to make sure it's entertaining. His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he ac was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn the you. fuck do you mean game? That's fucked up. But it is a game. It's a game of life and death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is part of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must unnecessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like kind of a kind of elimination match? Actually. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else will must fail. This also applies to the school life we've been subjected to here. In this case, a okay? limited resource is only is the only thing one of us can successfully become the blackened. So, in other words, so this game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Th that that can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaption is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. His 
smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like others exactly what I would expect from a togami heir apparent. Uh. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated, bread, brain dead, useless piece of garbage like you survived this long? Piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Like I said, I won't die. You keep saying that, but. Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept is losing simple, simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent prodigy, after all. A boy's raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life or death situation. <laughs> it is, is that not so, Byakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are not meant to be, games are meant to be one. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that, close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give you their best, where's the fun? Where's that fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm. It's because this isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill our own friends is, is. It's horrific. It's horrific. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in a competition. We're enemies. But, you know... But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um, come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Poor Chihiro. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, shithead, you get off the bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Hmm. So you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you. Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibber gibberish. That's it, you're fucking dead. Just a Hold on, just calm down. I don't think you are calm, Mondo, uh, but okay. How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during our elimination, an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Quit talking like you're a fucking mo in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Byakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe. But what he said, he, he might not have necessarily been wrong. I mean, you can say for sure someone won't pose in our sh food. Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. I'm telling you. You just, you, you just, you don't think that. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is totally out there. You think I don't know? But I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Hey, hey Toko, wait! Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Geez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time t to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. All right, it looks like we've got some free time, so uh, let's go spend it with someone. Um, I don't know if I want to cut out the free time or not because sometimes it can be very interesting, and uh, but then sometimes it can just be kind of boring. I don't know, but what I suspect is going to happen. Let's spend time with Celeste. 
What I suspect is gonna happen is some someone's gonna die. But if it isn't the dr D rank Makoto, is there something you want? Let's spend some time with Celeste. Um, but I think someone's gonna die, and then Byakuya is gonna be the main suspect. I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Do we have anything? I don't know if we have anything. We don't have any coffee, potato chips. Yeah, I don't think we have anything. <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Indeed. That power is luck. Luck? Actually, There are two types of luck, good and bad, bad, and there is no in between. And that luck is built on every human conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate, the bottom line is luck is life. Well. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So, all there is to, that's all there is to it? You're the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps proceed my, exceed my own luck? One day I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Mm, well, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a good idea for me. Oh. Okay. After parting ways with Celeste, I went back to my room. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around here. I should head out. Alright, let's go to the store and spend some uh, Monokuma coins. And then we're going to go hang out with somebody else. I just don't know who we should hang out with yet. Um, I want to hang out with Chichiro, probably. Um, is it this way that the store is? I don't remember. See, whoop. Almost went the wrong way. Oh, yep, here we go. And then I want to find Chihiro and spend some time with her. Oops. Yeah, give it a shot. Okay, let's give it a shot. I think the more you put in, the more like chances you have good getting something good so we're just gonna do it like 10 at a time what is that oh did we get an extra nice we are apparently l extremely lucky then I don't know what that is either. Oh, those are cute. I want those in my life. Actually, believe it or not, my next big pu big purchase is going to be a uh, Monokuma onesie. And I'm super excited about it. Oh, we got another item. Ooh, we got some... It looks like more coffee. Or tea, maybe? I guess we'll find out. What is that? Anyway, ten more coins. And then ten more. And then we'll go and hang out with Chihiro. Is that a Monokuma shirt? What? Oh, okay. That used it. I was like... Scissors. Okay. Um, how do we leave? Okay. Awesome. I should probably get going. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go find Chihiro and hang out with them.
for the day. Um, I don't know where Chihiro would be though. Let's see if they're in their room or something. What's this? So I will come back in when I find Chihiro. So let's check out the bathhouse while we're venturing around. Looks like Taka is in here. Here she is. All right. Huh? Are you concerned about me? I'm sorry. Sorry to make you worry. Hmm, should I try to? Yeah, I want to spend some time with Chihiro. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm really sorry for worrying you, you, but I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna spend some time with Chihiro. Yeah, let's give her something. I don't know what to give her though. Um, we've got coffee, but don't have any potato chips. Scrolling through this is like the worst. We got glasses, bunny earmuffs, I think the astral boy doll shears. Let's see what else we have just to just to make sure. Pretty hungry caterpillar. Let's give her the the bunny earmuffs. I think those will be cute for her. I can't take this. It's just too nice. I think I'd better. It'd be better if you hold on. Uh oh! I don't think she was too happy with it. Oh come on! Dang it, Chihiro! Oh, looks like it's nighttime. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game is defi this, this game definitely isn't. So how long is it going to keep going? Alright, so we're going to go to bed. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Monokuma Theater. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Nice, Monokuma. Nice. Good morning, everyone. Get ready. All right. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. All right, so let's head to the dining hall. Ren, 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 ren. I'm kind of sad that Chihiro didn't like the earmuffs. I'm sad. Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Yakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday. It wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even this table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abs abstaining. 
Yes, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Byakuya is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Tucker? Serious? I thought no, she's super annoying. <laughs> How could you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. <laughs> anyway, Byakuya is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. We can see it in his eyes. Got no choice. Got some rope. We're gonna have to bound and gag him. I think that's going a little overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's like when we were kids and someone would go up, go crazy at sports day or whatever. What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use rope to do duck of war or something, idiot? I'm not an idiot. You're an idiot. Who are you calling stupid? Huh, what's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh, self-loathing. After what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he is said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I hate how weak I am. Aww. I see, so Mondo made you depressed. What? what? How is it my fault? Hey. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak, right? Anyway, poor Chihiro. Are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on! Hey, come on! Don't cry. It's not my fault, okay? It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure. I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? I got it. What? I'll make you a promise as a man. Promise as a man? Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, the only thing my brother told me over and over again, he said no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Aww. Left you? Yeah. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make you guys all cry, right? Yo. Anyway, you can trust me when I can make that promise. You don't have to cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, sure. But... But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. But Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just a second. Shut up, you. <laughs> you know? Oh, find the correct smell, huh? I see. Y yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Look, Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Free time? Okay, so what should I do today? Alright, um... I guess let's go and hang out with uh, some more people. Let's go to the dining hall first. Who's in here? Celeste. I've already hung out with Celeste once this episode, so let's go find somebody else. Um, anybody in the bathhouses? Nope, nobody's in here. Where is everyone? I guess we'll go... I wonder if Byakuya is in the library and if he'll hang out with us. I feel like the cool... like the, the loser kid that's trying to hang out with the cool kid. So let's go up here. Oh, here's Chihiro again. I kind of want to hang out with them again. I'm trying to get their skills. Hello there. Hello there, Makoto. How nice to see you. Hmm, should I hang out? Yeah, let's spend some time with Chihiro again. I'm Yay. trying to get her skill. Same with Celeste, but... It feels like I already got that one, but it, I didn't. Okay. Sure. I don't know what to give her this time. Um, maybe some coffee? Can I have this? Thank you. This made me feel a little bit better. Does that mean she liked it? No. No. 
What's wrong, Chihiro? Um, it hurts. Did you get hurt? You know? Well, no, not really. I got a bit. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito. Yeah, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts. Did it really bite you that hard? Um. Yeah. Look, see. She held out her arm. A huge red bump stood out against her pale skin. Holy cow. What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. Why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but... What? But what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me and I looked down at it. But I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? <laughs> you didn't smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? I must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have—I would have—it would have been sad to not let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um, Mosquitoes are living things too, though. I might have—it might have a mosquito, a mosquito family. That's me. That's me every freaking time. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. Just don't go scratching it, okay? That'll make things worse. What? what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push into the bump. That'll help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. You're so smart, Makoto. As she said that, she smiled a tiny, cute animal smile. Little, like a tiny, cute animal. I wonder how she, if she does that on purpose. If so, that whole, that's a whole nother level of scary. Mm. Anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? What is? You know? Well, this school is completely sold off, right? How did a mosquito get in? That's a good point. Maybe there's somewhere in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of naturey spot. A naturey place in the school? Well, I can't say that's for sure or not. Uh. Or, or. Maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. Secret passage? Well, even if it's if there's not, I'm sure we'll f find a way out somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does, really? So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Makoto. Oh, so we've got a maximum number of skill points. I don't know what that means. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. All right, let's go hang out with someone else. And apparently we have maxed our skill points. So hold on, let's take a look at that real quick. Also, I'm going to save as I haven't done that in a while. Alright, who should we hang out with today? Let's see who's in the cafe. Or in the dining hall, rather. Ooh, let's hang out with uh, Sakura. Hello, did you need something? Hmm, I, should I talk to Sakura for a while? Yeah, let's so do that. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time to take a break. Okay, so we're gonna hang out with Sakura. Let's see if we have anything to give her. I don't really know if we do. Maybe that uh, metal chess piece thingy? I don't know if she'd like it or not. There's so many things we don't have. Yeah, let's give her this. What? I've been looking everywhere for this. How did you know? Well, she liked it. You're quite a mysterious man, Makoto. My post-training break is the most relaxed time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a long workout is just a true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. I'm going to skip through all this. Is 
sorry guys, it's a lot of reading and I'm trying to get through the episode. Because I've got stuff to do. Oh. Um, stand up fighting, grappling, and... So it wasn't that one. I see. Okay, well, it must be the only thing that's left, and that's mixed martial arts. Of course. I didn't know we'd have to answer questions. But, cool. I headed back to my room for a little while. Please don't tell me there's more free time. I don't want more free time if I'm perfectly honest. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better go get something to eat before it's nighttime. Okay, so we're going to the dining hall for some reason. I don't know why. This seems suspicious and unlike our uh, normal routine. I just wanted to get something to eat and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no, I'm already roped in. Oh, I remember this part. <laughs> hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, what do you want, Mondo? Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Witness to what? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You are a coward. You just turned to violence to solve your problems. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why are you always walk around dressed like that. The fuck you say? You don't know shit. You already lost your to yourself and you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So what are you saying? You're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. Okay then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. Accept your challenge. So that's what's happened in Makoto. You're gonna be our witness. You're gonna throw down. You're gonna like start punching each other are you? There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right, with the sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Goddamn straight. Oh my god. Are you guys really gonna go through with this shit? Yeah. I mean, he'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without an exception, all talk. Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win a challenge. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. We're gonna do the battle with all our clothes on. <laughs> oh God, that's idiotic, suicidal. You fight. What? You afraid? You're going to regret to regret this. Shut up and let's do this. Oh dear God. Hey, Mondo. Shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? Just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Mm-hmm. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed, a few dozen minutes, then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's probably not good. Yeah, probably not. Hey, uh, guys, I know you want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough for- Alright. God, I can't- I just can't win. And it's officially nighttime. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? It's night time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. 
That's the only thing that matters. Listen to you, you son of a bitch, and bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. This isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him better crawl on your back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall in front of me down you, on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. He <laughs> just leaves them in the... Just screw it. I really hope those two don't ever do it. But I'm sure to the death... No, surely they wouldn't go that far. So either we're going to wake up in the morning and they're going to be dead, or... I don't know. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to the sleep. Oh, this has been a long episode, guys. If fate does, does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you were born? If all your yesterdays piled to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. Thank you for that uh, intriguing, uh, inspirational thought process, Monokuma. Good. Get All right. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? You know, what are you talking about, bro? What the... Yo. Hey, Makoto. Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are they friends now? They've been at like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as we walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. It feels great. More like... This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. So there's a bromance between Taka and Mondo. Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given <laughs> to your to you by your loving parents. So, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Apparently we're not gonna talk about that. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taco's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. So what should I do today? Oh, it looks like we don't have a choice. Hmm, what could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I went. I opened the door, and someone forced their way in. What is Toko doing here? Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> well, I already know that I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what's going on. I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well. The library. Huh? What are you, you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Alright, so we're going to the library apparently? For some reason. Quiet, be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. That's kind of crazy. Alright, let's talk to Byakuya. 
He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? I hate to even even having to look at you. Oh, so you notice me. Of course, now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hey, um, Biakia. Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman dominated by a strong man? I never said that. Well, actually, I thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. You go take a bath, you smell. Don't make me, repeat Don't make me say it again. Go now, before you s your stench latches it onto the entire room. Okay. Poor Toko. <laughs> he's really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood? She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Byakuya, to go that far. He must really be concerned about me. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byakuya and I would be good together? Um, well, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true, there's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Okay. There might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. Ah, uh, young love. What? Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? An eager passion can be s also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? Actually, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. I was waiting for something um, big to happen, but this is a very long episode. So uh, we'll open up in the next episode, spending some free time with people and uh, continuing from there. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and join the Vampy Corn family. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!